Hello friends, today's topic is uh, hospitality. You know, it's one of those words where you hear it and you think, wow, Holiday Inn, resort. Oftentimes you have to pay for uh, the services, the, uh, the hospitality industry, and it's not free. But you know, that word hospitality, it's rooted in the scriptures. It's actually, you know, part of who our God is, hospitality. He is a God of hospitality. Uh, you know, one of the first commands in scripture, eat. And one of the uh, final commands in scripture in uh, Revelation, come all is ready. And so this God from beginning to end is a God of hospitality. And, uh, you know, it's a word in Greek that means uh, love of the stranger. So, yeah, our God, he loves strangers into friends. He gets them at the table and he gets to know them and calls them his own and gets to feed them and serve them. And uh, this is who our God is. And uh, so as uh, a small parish in Auburn, Michigan, uh, we like to imitate this God of hospitality. And uh, my deaconess, our deaconess here at uh, Grace Auburn, Michigan, is uh, someone who is uh, just so excited to practice hospitality. And she had a really good idea this uh, last uh, winter, this last Christmas. And so I wanted to really have her explain uh, her beautiful idea that she ran mm -hmm. with. Mm -hmm. uh, sharing hospitality. Yeah. Um, this past Christmas, what, um, what I did was have basically an open house, open invitation to anyone who didn't have plans for, for Christmas day, didn't have family to go see. Um, and so it was just kind of whoever wants to come, come on out for supper. We'll have chili. Um, I ended up undercooking the cornbread, but you know, we won't talk about that too much. Fed, uh, you fed the birds, right? Exactly. Matthew 6, living, providing exactly. for the birds. God, yep. through you, feeding mm -hmm. them mm -hmm. cornbread. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yep, exactly. And then there was chocolate. We played games. Um, it was a really beautiful time for, for Christmas Day. And um, what I really enjoyed and what I found so beautiful was getting to have um, members, uh, different walks of life, married, widowed, single, just all around my dining room table and just getting to watch them and, and be a part of everyone getting to um, deepen their relationships, getting to know each other better, um, getting to hear each other's stories. Um, it was a very intimate time. It was great. And so um, there was just so much joy in getting to, to be a part of that. And really, that's what our Lord does. Uh, he is... Um, a God of hospitality, like Pastor was mentioning, and he just takes so much delight in getting to see um, uh, the friends become, or the strangers become friends. Um, I mean, he goes to great lengths to make uh, strangers, while we were yet enemies of God, to make us uh, members at his table, members of his family, and welcome us into mm -hmm. his home. I mean, uh, our Lord says that he's prepared a room for us with our names on it. Um, and even Jesus and says, you are my friends. Mm -hmm. You are my friends. Yeah. In John's gospel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, what a welcoming Lord we have who wants to bring us in. And no one's uh, too, uh, too far off or too strange or weird. Um, no one's uh, uh, off limits. That's right. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. Mm -hmm. And I, I like your idea, uh, Deaconess Micah, because, uh, you know, with what you did during uh, Christmas, I mean, the people that you, you uh, had come together were, I mean, you had, you had widows, you had, uh, you had the single folk, you had the married folk. Mm -hmm. I mean, you had like the, the whole spectrum. Mm -hmm. All these people gathered together as friends mm -hmm. uh, in Christ Jesus mm -hmm. and uh, a time to really break bread. I mean, the word companion actually means uh, mm -hmm. uh, 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 with bread, right? Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it's a word that is associated with the table, mm -hmm. hospitality. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, you know, while breaking bread, uh, not the cornbread because that was gone apparently, mm -hmm. yeah, it went to the birds, uh, but at least enjoying food together, mm -hmm. you're able to uh, learn uh, mm -hmm. about uh each other's lives and uh because everyone's a mystery i mean we all don't i mean i, I don't even know myself very well uh at all period mm -hmm. uh you know and so let alone other people so mm -hmm. i mean people are just fascinating always really amazing things to learn mm -hmm. about uh about mm -hmm. the other mm -hmm. and uh and so uh what a what joy just to gather on table and and, and share life together mm -hmm. break bread together in a non-pressure environment non -pressure. it's a safe 
safe space. Uh, and I mean, it's just, uh, it's just an opportunity to be. You don't have to uh, bring anything. You just get to receive. Yeah. It's a great gift. Because everything was ready. Mm-hmm. You had everything ready. You were you were being that god of hospitality. <laughs> You're like, just show up. Yeah. Show up, and I'm gonna I'm gonna serve you food. Mm-hmm. Uh, everything mm-hmm. but the cornbread, of course. Yes, exactly. That, it's going to the birds. Mm-hmm. You know, God is gonna feed the birds mm-hmm. through mm-hmm. me, Deaconess mm-hmm. Micah. Thank mm-hmm. you very much, mm-hmm. Matthew six living. Exactly. There's chocolate priorities. Chocolate. That's always the best thing, right? And every single time you get to hear those words, take, eat, this is my body given for you. Take, drink, this is my blood shed for you. And you get to drink and eat Jesus. Sink your teeth into the bread of life. You're reminded of the God of hospitality. He mm-hmm. welcomes you. He welcomes me. He welcomes us to, to his table. And he feeds us nothing less than himself. He gives us himself. He fills us with unending life so that now we are unconquerable, unstoppable. And so we leave that table at church, every divine service, having experienced the God of hospitality. And so Deaconess Micah, wonderful that you can imitate and share this God of hospitality in your own house. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's a lot of fun. It's a blessing. And I mean, we just get to, it's getting to part of that baptismal life, getting to wear our Lord Jesus everywhere we go. And, and one of the ways we get to do that is uh, with our homes, with the gifts, with the, the home, the possessions that our Lord has given us, resources, food, pots and pans, um, using all of that to um, make strangers friends. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, we're going to be spending eternal life, you know, in the new heavens, and the new earth, mm-hmm. just, you know, deepening our uh, knowledge of each other, mm-hmm. uh, learning about each other. And it's going to be ever growing. Mm-hmm. We're not going to be bored mm-hmm. with with anyone. It's not like we're going to instantly know each other, Deaconess Micah, in everlasting life. We're going to have eternity, this adventure of just getting to know one another. And so mm-hmm. why not start now? You know, let your tables be the place where you can breathe the air of eternity, the new creation, and just really get to relish in uh, the joy of being in the presence of these people that uh, Christ loved so much Mm -hmm. that he died and rose so that he could make those who were estranged his friends, Mm -hmm. his Mm -hmm. brothers, his sisters. Now they're your brothers and sisters. I mean, this family of God is so big, uh, so vast, Mm -hmm. so awesome. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it might just start with a lunchroom table at school. Uh, it's not something big. Nope. It Simple. could be at sports, drinking a Gatorade. <laughs> exactly. Start small. Who knows? Yep. Start small. Start I mean, our small. Lord, he, he's, he's all about mustard seeds, I guess, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah I think there's something about that. Something about mustard seeds. Uh-huh. Yeah. That might be another topic. Uh-huh. Well, that's really our topic uh, today, mm-hmm. hospitality, you know, love of the stranger. And uh, our God is a God of hospitality from Genesis to Revelation and beyond. So, uh, dear friends, uh, that's about it for us. I'm Pastor A.A. Mm-hmm. Ron. And Deaconess Micah. Yep. And uh, by his wounds. We are healed.